morning, Positive Astros. The time is now 8.25. Today is Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. My name is Lucy. My name is Zavani. And welcome, welcome to, to Channel, Channel 5 News. News. Thought for the day. Be a leader everywhere you go. Remember, remember that you are always a Positive Astro. Now over to James of the Pledge of Allegiance and the school's pledge. Will you please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge today to do my best with a great attitude I will progress. I promise to obey the rules and own my choices each day in school. I respect myself and others too and work hard to constantly improve. I'm committed to learn all I can. I am in charge of my life's plan. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, James. Today's announcements, Tuesday, February 4th, Factual team meeting. Now over to Mr. Butzel for the words of wisdom. Good morning, Positive Astros. Happy Tuesday. So today is going to be a great day. And our word for the week has to do with change. So sometimes change is really, really hard. Okay? So like if you have to move to a new house, or move to a new school, or move to a new class. Those are all really big changes, right? Or you might have a new teacher. Those are all big, big changes. And if you can adjust to those changes, you're demonstrating adaptability. Adaptability is our word for, that, for the week. It's your ability and willingness to change based on the circumstances that you're presented. Okay, and there are things that happen all the time that present change to us that you have to sort of be able to adjust to, adapt to. So let's say I was planning on going to specials right away, but then I had to get pulled and do something in the office. I'm going to have to adjust and adapt to that change, right? Yeah, that's adaptability. Your willingness to adjust to those changes. Do our routines in class sometimes change? Yeah. So our teachers try to have a nice predictable routine, but some days there's changes. Are you able to adjust and adapt to those changes? If you are, you're demonstrating really good adaptability. Leaders have to demonstrate adaptability because they have things thrown at them all the time that they have to adapt to, okay? So as a good leader, as a seven habit school, I want you guys to practice adaptability. Be willing to adjust to change. Change is so important, okay? And the better you can adjust to change, the better leader you become, okay? Because we all know it's really hard. So right now, I'm gonna use some adaptability and I'm gonna adjust to change because Miss Helen was not sitting next to me a minute ago and now she is! So, instead of going back to the anchors, I'm going to go over to Miss Talon. So, Positive Astros, have a great day. The choice is yours. Now over to Miss Talon. Hi, boys and girls. I am so excited to be here. Number one, I come with great information. You know, it's the beginning of February, so what does that mean? I need to go over how we did in the month of January. So, let's talk about that for a minute. We have a school wig. It's wildly important to us. So it is to be an A school. And we have four action steps to do that. And the first action step says that we will increase our words read by 10%. So I have calculated how much we read. We read eight more million words as a school in January than we did in December. So I want to say congratulations to every single grade level. You made your word increase goal. So on everybody's um, wig wall. It will be yes, 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 yes for every single grade level. So congratulations. Now, I also want to say kindergarten. This goes out to a great big shout out to you. Did you know there were only seven kids in the entire kindergarten who did not take an AR test in the month of January? Only 
seven children. Now, that's been about 70 or 80 kids. And all of a sudden, we're taking off an AR. So kindergarten teachers, I know that can be painful to get your boys and girls on the computer to take a personal AR test. So kudos to our kindergarten team. Congratulations. And we had one fourth grader. So boys and girls, let's not pick on somebody who didn't take a test, but let's be proactive. And the person said to me yesterday, well, I was absent the last day of January. So my question was, what about all the other days of January? Why did we not take a test then? So my friend, Mrs. Sturbutzel, last week pulled some kids and said, it's AR test time. So she helped with that. So congratulations for everybody earning that action step. Now, action step number two is a bit harder. It requires that we maintain a pass rate of 70% in reading and math on iReady. And then in grades three, four, and five, your reading is a 65%. So I would like to congratulate the following classes who made it in reading for the iReady goal. So we have Mrs. Bailey's kindergarten class, and we have Mrs. Farhat's first grade class, Mrs. Richardson and Mrs. Spitaleri, Mrs. Smith's class, Mrs. Silver's class, Mrs. Malone's class, Mrs. Will's class. Second grade, we have Sinicolo and Shram. Listen, Ms. Smith. In third grade, we had Dennis Provencal. In fourth, we had Durain, Long and Montgomery, Malia, Vasquez, White. And then in fifth grade, we had English and Schaff, and we had Schlunt. In math, they, who made their goal in iReady was Aspiolea, Bailey, Coomer, Grimsley, Papal, Riggio. In first grade, we had Farhat, Patalano, Richardson and Spitaleri, Smith, Silver, Valone, Wills. In second grade, we had Sinicolo Shram, Kirkpatrick, Lambert, Listen, Smith. In third grade, we had Bishop, Dennis, Mulligan, Murphy and Shipman, Provencal, Welsh. In fourth grade, we had Carrion, Durain, Long and Montgomery, Malia, Vasquez, and White. In fifth grade, we had Barros, Jones, and Schlunt. So congratulations to those classes for making those goals. Um, I also have, because my friend Imani McKenzie over here has been bothering me every day saying, Mrs. Tone, Mrs. Tone, when are you going to update that top 10 in AR, right, Imani? You've been saying that to me every day. Not bothering me. She's just reminding me it's time. So hot off the press. Drum roll. In kindergarten, the new top 10 readers as of yesterday afternoon. Number 10, Mackenzie Toth. Christopher Diaz, Connor Lee, Jordan Murray, Brody Blondin's number six, number four, or number five is Elena McGuire. We have Mackenzie Hurd. Number two is Addison Zigglebauer. And number one, we have a tie with 37 points, Audrey Carrington and Natalia Caraballo. Congratulations to our kindergarten readers. In first grade, number 10, we have a three-way tie with 64 points. You know what? That is second grade, so hold on. First grade, we have... 10th place, DeMoya Richards. Number nine is Isabella Orsini. Number eight is Ethan Sadowski. Number seven is Casey Listen. Number six is Carson White Capco. Number five is Carson Eldridge. Number four is Ava Welsh. Number three, Messiah Riley with 93 points. Number two, Elijah LaFayle with 96 points. And number one with 107 points is Addison Honoree. So congratulations to our first grade readers. Now on to our second grade readers. Three kids in 10th place with 64 points. Riley Sylvester, Michaela Trinidad, and Noah Guzman. Ninth is Jesslyn Michael. Eighth is Nevaeh Seswick. Number seven is Jarella Salamo. Number six is Alex Mejia Cacique. Number five is Serenity Robbins. Number four is Mason Daly. Number three is Navoy Dehaney. Number two is Eliza Carter with 112 points. And number one, Miss Aaliyah Hebert has 125 points. Good job, boys and girls. In third grade, tenth place is Raymond Worley. Number nine is Lucy Listen, tied also with Reagan Malace. Number eight is Colin Mosier. Also, number eight, two more people, Nehemiah LaFayle and Samuel Halsey. Y'all have 90 points. Number seven is Katie Long. Number six is June Papura. Number five is Braden Harper. Number four is Ava Conlin. Number three is Ava Pellegrino. Number two is Candon Zigglebauer with 152 points. And number one is Mr. Ronan Neal with 260 points. Good job, positive Astros. In fourth grade, 10th place, Valerie Magallanes. Number nine is Zachary Hebert. Number eight is Max Brown. Number seven is Chase Honoree. Number six is Elijah Mullins. Number five, Colin Davis. Number four, Mikaelin Toth. Number three, Jacob Meelan. Number two with 210 points is Temperance Moore. Number one, 
with 305 points is Mr. Kai Benjamin. Congratulations, fourth grade. And to fifth grade, the one Amani's been waiting for. We have in 10th place, Jaden Michael. Number nine, we have a tie, Connor Sylvester and Zion Alexander with 129 points apiece. Number eight, Caleb Ziegelbauer has 150 points. Number seven is Amani McKenzie with 153 points. Number six, Craig Davis, 164 points. Jillian Coleman, 166 points. Number four, Michael Placencia has 185 points. Number three, Tristan Brooks has 195 points. Number two, Nicholas Warren. Nicholas, this is nothing to sneeze at. You have 333 points. Congratulations. And number one in the entire school is Miss Isabella Clemente with 400 points. So congratulations to our top readers. Now, the last thing I want to say is who is getting the Traveling Vision Awards for the month of January? Miss Bailey's class in kindergarten. First grade, Mrs. Richardson and Mrs. Spitaleri's class and Miss Silver's class. In second grade, Mrs. Listen and Mrs. Smith's class. In third grade, Mrs. Dennis and Mrs. Provencal's class. In fourth grade, we have Mrs. Long and Mrs. Montgomery, Miss Malia, and Mrs. White's class. In fifth grade, we have Mrs. Schlunt's class. So congratulations to our Positive Astro Vision Awards for this month. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Mr. Butzel and Mrs. Tallon. This week's announcements. Friday, February 7th, 2 o'clock, Big Bucket bu bush Book Bash Pep Rally for grades 3, 4, 5. 2.30, Big Bucket Book Bash Pep Rally for grades K, 1, 2. Now it's to Mr. Morrison. Good morning, Positive Astros. Happy Monday. I have in the studio an award winner. Come on over, Josie, and show us what you have for her. From the Charlotte County Fair. Um, Josie is here today with some awards that she just received. Tell us what you received these awards for. My guinea pig, and I got the, this thing that I got to win. Okay, so you had a guinea pig that was entered. Look at this, Coach. A guinea pig that was entered in the fair. Oh, I saw those pictures. They were so cute. 2020 Charlotte County Fair Clover Bud participant for the Cavi Guinea Pig sponsor, and she has her McGinnis and Bail Buns, and that's what it says there. And it's a really pretty, pretty trophy. Look how pretty it is. And did you get a ribbon with it? Oh my goodness, let me see it. You got a blue ribbon. That's really nice. That's a very What's look at that. What's the name of your guinea pig? Nightmare Moon. Cool. Say it again. Her name's Nightmare Moon. Aww. That's so cute. Okay. Is and she proud? No. Oh, no, she's not proud. Guinea pigs aren't proud, right? They're, you're proud of her, though. Yeah. It's a girl guinea pig? Yeah. All right. How long have you had her? Uh, I don't know. Probably uh, and not long enough to be win the fair. Long enough to win the fair. Yeah. So congratulations, Josie. That's a real, Look at this medal. I missed the medal. Look at this. That's cute. All right. Well, ha thanks for sharing with us, and keep up the good work, okay? Take good care of your guinea pig. Right? That's what you got the medal for. Good job. Thank you. And uh, thanks for coming Hi, today. Um, I'm going to, Josie, you can walk over there, sweetheart, and I'm going to have those people walk over here now. Can you trade places with them over there? Go sit in those chairs. Can I have my um, birthday people come on over? I see some beautiful birthday girls. Come on over, birthday girls, and tell us your name. Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. And who's your teacher? Miss Bailey. And how old are you turning on your birthday? Six. Is today your birthday? Happy birthday, six years old, right here today. Thank you. Would you just trade places? Wow. And what is your name? Adriana. Adriana. And who's your teacher? Miss Bailey. And how old are you turning? Six. Turning six. Adriana's turning six. Let's chicken dance. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Happy birthday. You may look into our seashell bin and pick out one seashell and one dragon tear to take with you for your birthday today. Happy birthday. Don't forget to get a book in the office. I have an announcement here from our media, I believe. Let's see. There's a contest. The contest to estimate the number of books in the media center is now over. We had a very close competition for a winner. It was determined by n one number. There are 10,079 books in the media center. 
Five people guessed 10,000, but one person guessed 10,001, and guess what? That made that person they win. Won. They guessed 10,001 because they were closer to 10,079. So that person was Logan Wide. Congratulations, Yay. Logan Wide, from Miss Lynn's class in fifth grade. Logan, you may see Miss Kipfinger for your prize, and the prize is a $10 Books a Million gift card. So congratulations, Logan. Good guessing. And now back to the anchors. Thank you, Miss Morrison. Lunch for today. Nachos with beef and cheese sauce, lettuce salsa, refried beans, corn, choice of fruit, milk. Breakfast for tomorrow, bagel breakfast sandwich or ch choice of cereal and bagel half, oatmeal, low-fat milk. Now I'm to James with the weather report. Today, partly cloudy, 77 degrees high, 59 degrees low, 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 82 <coughs> degrees high, 82 degrees high. <coughs> 67 degrees low, 10% chance of rain. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, James. Birthdays for today. Michael Platisha, Placencia, Dodge, Solch, Christian Ar Arke, Archie, Adriana Mullins, Mackenzie Ta. Happy birthday, Positive Astros. Now over to James with the Daily Science Journal. Answer from yesterday. Vertebrates are animals that have backbones. The science word of the day is sun. Definition. The sun is the star at the center of our solar system. The science sentence of the day. Objects in our solar system are in orbit around the sun. Science question of the day. What is the tallest animal in the world? Now back to the anchors. Thank you, James. Have a great day, Positive Astros. And, and thank you for watching Channel 5 News. We will see you again tomorrow at 825. Have a terrific Tuesday. Bye.